So we're seated, it's starting seated in our soles of our feet together, knees open, Bhattakonasana. And it, like I said, not a very rigid one, meaning make it somewhat restorative in being, by bringing your feet um, away from your groin and just sit up as upright as you can. So that might mean for some holding your hands behind your back just to keep you a little bit more upright. And just close your eyes and breathe. So you don't have to have your spine straight up and down. It's not gonna work for everybody. But just a little bit of openness through the groin area. Just visualize the breath moving from the base of the spine all the way to the top of the head. And just, uh, just you know, embrace the beauty of the day, of the morning for some of us, early morning for others. On the next inhale, let's move the feet even further away from our groin. And this time, let's bring our arms behind the back. Lift your chest up so your fingers can be in either direction. I have my, my fingers back, so my shoulders are a little bit more open here. Inhale and exhale. So feel this great expanse. It's like you're, you know, out at the beach and you're just sitting watching somebody in the water and it's just so pleasant. So feel that openness. And just as you sit here, nice and tall, turn your head to the right side. Just enough of a, enough of a twist or a turn that you feel a little release in the left side. Excuse me. <coughs> it's those allergies. <coughs> and come back to center, go to the other side. Take your time. And once again, come back to center. Good. Release your hands. Take your hands forward. Hold on to your toes, but keep a length of the spine. So no rounding in your spine here. And you can give yourself that early massage of your feet. Inhale and exhale. Keep your left hand down and bring your right arm up and over to the left side. And then just switch hands. Right hand down, left arm comes up, open twist. Come back to center. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Take your blocks out if you have them. Swing your legs around to either direction. Come to your hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, hips and shoulders width apart. Can you hear it now? Tuck your toes, arch your back. Exhale, round and curl, head down, chin to chest, spread your shoulders apart. Inhale, tuck your toes, dip your belly, arch your back. And now start to do this a few times on your own, top of the foot, shin down. Cat and cow. And then let's hold the neutral position between two sides. Step back a little bit with your knees. Reach your arms a little bit forward. Drop your chin and chest to the floor. And if it's not your chin, it could be your forehead. And that might be too extreme, so just let your body go where it needs to be. Keep your hips up. Take your right hand under your left arm and just do a spinal twist here and a little bit of threading the needle. Take your left arm behind your back, bind it. Release the bind, both arms out, puppy dog pose. Take your left arm under, Rotate the back side of your head to the floor. Take your right arm behind you. 
But I told you to get louder, now I feel like I'm screaming at you. Twist. Inhale back to center. Both arms out, chin chest down. Inhale, walk your hands back under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, release your knees, arch your back. Exhale, lift to downward facing dog. Inhale, release your knees, arch your back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, release your knees. Drop your chin and chest towards the floor and lay down on your belly. Low cobra, elbows by your side, squeeze the arms in. Press the top of the foot and shin to the floor. I don't know if you can see me, I hope you can. Lift your chest up. Thighs are engaged, top of the foot, shin down. Lift the arms. Empty the breath, head down, chest down, legs down. Child's pose. Inhale to hands and knees. Right foot steps forward. Hands can be on blocks or on the floor. And as you come up onto your back knee, snuggle it back a little bit. Right knee is right above right ankle. Shoulders pull back and down. Inhale. Please let me know if you can't see me because it's very hard for me to even see me. Breathe in and out. Pull your shoulders back and down. Lift your belly up away from your thighs. Now push the back foot, the top of the foot shin down. So you have a little action in the front of the thigh. You feel the shin. Take a breath. And then we're just going to place both hands on the inside of the right leg. So again, you can be on a block. It's always nice. We're still releasing the back hip, so nothing else changed there. Right big toe is pressing down as evenly as all the others. Keep looking forward and take your left toes to your right side. And as that happens, sometimes that right hip wants to sneak out with it. So draw it back in underneath you. Take your left hand to your hip and reach the left arm up. So push your knee and your tricep against each other. And if your foot cramps, just undo the toes a little bit. Stay with that or take the same bind, left arm behind your back. And you might even grab the inside of your right thigh. And as you do so, open up your torso. Stay with that or some of you might wanna take a full bind as long as that left shoulder opens up. If you bind and you're down here, let go of the bottom part, right? Bottom arm. Open your chest. Firmly ground your right foot. One more breath. Exhale. If you have a bind, release it. Right arm down, left arm up. Lift up and away from your waistline. And then exhale, come back to the center. Turn yourself forward. Turn your right toes to the right. Take your hands still on the inside. Keep yourself upright for this one. It's nice and early. And if you'd like to spin onto the outer edge of your right foot and take your right hand to your inner thigh and twist, there's another option. Stay with this or bend your back knee and see if you want to take your right hand to grab a hold of the foot, shin, ankle, toes, or just towards it. And then keep dropping your left hip down to the floor. Good. If you're bound, gently release it. Hands on either side of the right leg. And straighten your right leg with the toes up. Head to shin. Square your hips. Toes up towards your face, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, re-bend your front knee. Step back with both knees on the floor. 
push to a child's pose for a moment. Stretch your arms all the way out in front of you. Feel the stretch across the shoulders, across the waist, across the hips. Inhale back to hands and knees. Tuck your toes, dip your belly, lift your hips up, downward dog. Just a little relief on the knees. Inhale, come back to your knees. Look forward and step your left foot in between your two hands. Help it out. Do whatever you gotta do. Take your blocks or hands on the floor. And then move your right leg back a little bit further so you're not on the knee. Hug your hips towards midline, shoulders back, collarbones open. Inhale. And exhale. Keep sending the right hip down. Releasing. Big toe, little toe, ball of the foot on the floor. Heel too. Good. Next breath, bring your left arm on the inside, on blocks or on the floor. Just wherever you are, make sure you're not dumping into your neck and shoulders. Good, broaden your collarbones, top of the foot presses down. And then swing your right foot over to the left side. And then remind your left hip not to follow. Left, be a, be a, you know, not, don't be a leader, not a follower. Right arm up, left arm down. Stay just like that or take the right arm behind your back. If you can grab the inner thigh, great. If it goes only to the middle of your back, who cares? Just work on the opening. And if you're taking a full bind, the right shoulder doesn't change. It only opens up more, it doesn't come down. Hug your left hip in, so stay nice and strong. One more breath. If you're bound, release it. Right arm up, left arm down. And then turn yourself forward, spin it around. Low lunge on the inside, lizard lunge. Turn your toes to the left. Stay with that or roll onto the outer edge and take your hand and just adjust yourself open. Breathe. So you can stay like that or bend your back leg and reach around with your left hand to the foot shin wherever you can and open up. And then gently release, come back, one hand on either side of your leg and straighten your front leg. Hands on the blocks, you can move the blocks back further. So your torso is a little bit more upright and your leg can go a little bit straighter perhaps. Good, now look forward, bend your front knee again. Hands on floor or blocks again, tuck your back toes under. Step your feet up to the top of your mat and then separate your feet as wide as your mat. We're not gonna go all the way down, so just plant your arms on top or inside of your thighs and come so your torso is parallel to the floor, but your knees are opening up. So kind of like a squatting malasana pose. If you want more here, reach your arms out in front. It's like you're gonna play a tug of war and you're sh sending your weight back so you don't lose the tug of war, right? Bring your left hand to the floor, right arm opens up, twist, the hips are low. As you fold, straighten your legs, let it go. Inhale, lengthen, bend your knees, sit down, torso parallel to the floor. This time the right arm comes down, left arm opens up, twist. Hands down, legs straight. Fold over, turn your toes forward, bring them in a little closer. Grab opposite arms and sway. Switch arms.
And just stay in your forward fold. Let go. Send the weight to the balls of the feet. Shake out your head yes and no. And then release your arms. Let them dangle. Tune to chest. Roll up slowly. Take your time making your way up to standing. Roll your shoulders back and around a couple of times. Heel toe your feet together. Arms down by your side. Not sure where the music went. Bring the arms all the way up overhead. Interlace your fingers. Turn the palms inside out and upside down. Lift up and over to your right side. I'll try to find it. And breathe. Inhale. And exhale. So we should be doing this in a moment now. There you go. Come back to center. Good. Release your arms and bring the arms behind your back. Interlace your fingers. And fold back over your thighs. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Put your hands on blocks when you need to. And then release the hands to the floor again. Halfway lift. Take your left hand to your right ankle. Bend your left knee. Right arm comes up. Twist. Again, stay with this or take the bind halfway. Lift your chest open. Stay with this, or if you have a full bind, the left arm comes underneath the thigh, and we open up. And then as you come to center, release whatever bind you have, bend both knees, and let your body fold over. Inhale, halfway lift, rise up to stand, bring it all the way with you. Exhale, bring prayer to your heart center. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, fold down through center, hands on floor, shins, blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend your right knee, grab your right hand to your left ankle, and take your left arm up and twist. Hug your hips in towards midline. And then take your left arm behind you somewhere. Open up your shoulder, chest. And then if some of you want to take the full bind, Right arm comes underneath you, and open twist. Good, on the next exhaling breath, we fold back to center, releasing any vines that we have. This one I wanna roll up one vertebrae at a time as we come up to stand up. Shoulders roll back and around. Take a big breath in, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, bring the prayer to your heart. So if you need to bring your feet a little closer or keep them wide, do what you need to do in your Tadasana. Stand up nice and tall, ground your feet, lift your knees up, pull your thighs up, tuck your tailbone under, lengthen through your torso, through the neck, all the way out to the top of the head as the chin stays parallel to the floor. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hands to floor, shins or blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. Turn the left foot on its side, heel to heel, heel to instep or wider. Bring, it's just like we did on the floor. Bring your right hip to the center. Bring your hands to your thighs, rise up. Turn your torso to the left. So stack shoulders over hips. Widen your stance or shorten it if you need to. Back out of the front leg for a moment, straighten it out, and then just adjust yourself a little bit facing the left side of your mat. As you re-bend the knee, take the arms out, warrior two. Gaze down your right hand. Pull your left arm back so your shoulders stack over your hips. Spiral your upper thighs outward as you draw your heels inward. Inhale and exhale. Breathe, find a focus. Slow down the thoughts, slow down the breath. Warrior two. One more breath, reverse the warrior as you exhale. Nothing changes in the front leg. 
Now lift the torso up, and I like to place my left hand on my hip to kind of remember to push it forward so that I get a little bit more length in the torso. And then anything you do with your back arm is open to you. I like to bind, but sometimes I take it to something else. We're doing a lot of binding this morning, so feel free to take the, another bind. Straighten your front leg just for the breath. Rebend your front knee, find warrior two again. And then I want you to reach towards the front of your mat and place your right hand on the outside or on a block. Right knee bends, left arm comes up. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. So you might even have to shorten your back leg in a little bit. Turn your torso to the left side, lift the bottom side of your body up. Slide your left hand back and overhead. Open up. So your palm is over your head. Palm is down with a slight rotation so the thumb spins slightly up. And then that right knee hugs the tricep, tricep hugs the knee. Thigh is as close to parallel as you can. Yeah, stay with it yet. Yeah, the blocks are definitely gonna help this. Take another breath. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Turn yourself back to the center. Step back to high plank, take a breath. Organize the plank, lower down halfway to chaturanga or to your knees. Roll over your toes, upward dog, or on your belly for cobra, downward dog, hips up in the air. Walk your dog, stay centered, whatever feels right to you here. Inhale on your toes, bend your knees, look forward. Take yourself to the top of your mat, halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, forward fold, and then ride your breath to standing. If you want to go up with a rounded back or flat back, you choose that one that really you know, speaks to you today. Arms at your prayer, prayer by arms by your side. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Low lunge. Turn your back foot on its side. Good. Bring your hands to your hips. Rise up. Turn to the right side. So there's not going to be the hips are not going to get all the way, but the torso can. Straighten your front leg. Rebend it. Your back toes are pointing towards the front of the room. Heel to heel, heel to instep or wider, and then stretch your arms out, front and back one direction then the other. We've got four directions happening here. So lengthen in all the directions, stay strong. Oh, I hope this umbrella doesn't decide to fall down on everything. Inhale for length and strength. Settle down, allow the hips to release so you can come down towards the floor. Think about the upper thighs rotating outward while the inner heels pull together. One more breath. Without changing your legs, left arm comes up, right arm comes down. Place the right hand to the hip and push yourself towards that knee. So just giving yourself a little bit more lift in the torso. Good. Take a little stretch of the front leg and then re-bend the front leg. Inhale to warrior two, facing the right side of your mat. Good, reach forward, reach your arm forward. Left arm comes to the outside of the foot. If that's not happening, you can always put your hand on your thigh. First, take the right arm up to the sky, and then just work on the footing, right? Big toe, little toe, bowl of foot. Left knee and tricep are hugging towards each other, tailbone tucks. Big toe, little toe, take the right arm. Spin it up and over your head. Rotate the shoulder enough that the palm is still facing pretty much down, but there's a little rotation with the thumb up, pinky down more. And then keep working on the rotation of the torso. We have been working with this a lot this morning already. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath. As the breath empties, the hands come back to the floor. Look forward, step to a high plank and pause. Inhale. And then exhale your way down, upward, and downward facing dogs. We'll meet in down dog. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Bend one knee, then the other. 
Step your feet like one foot feet closer. Shift your weight back. Take your right hand to your left foot and ankle and twist again. Hug your hips in towards midline. Oh, a little butterfly. No, it's not a butterfly. It's just loose. Okay. Switch sides. Work the hugging of the hips towards center here. And then come back to center. Step your feet back to downward dog. Inhale to a high plank. Knees lifted, look forward. Exhale to a low plank, chaturanga, or to your knees. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step in here. Bring your feet closer together. Inhale, high on your toes and lift your right leg up. Lower your left heel and open your right hip, bend your right knee. And just open up the hip. You can move the ankle, the hip, knee, or you can hold it staggered, staggered, stagnant, or steady. Not stagnant, not a great word. Shoulders down, facing the floor. Good, now we're gonna turn our hips squared. Just bring the knee to the outside of the right arm for a breath. Bring your knee forward, step forward. Is that Cindy? <laughs> Always good, better late than never. Always good. Turn your back foot on its side. Cindy, we're getting into warrior two, everybody. Warrior two. And exhale. Let's pump the warrior arms and legs. And exhale, find warrior two. So heel to heel, heel to instep. Reverse your warrior. Straighten your front leg. Good. Now adjust your arm's shoulder height again. Adjust your left hip to meet your right hip level. And then reach your torso forward as the hips move back. So I just adjusted you and put you back. Right arm down, left arm up, triangle pose. Left arm straight over the shoulders, stacking your shoulders, breathing, breathing, breathing. And then it's always that lift out of the waistline and rotation and we're not dumping into the hips so we create a little space in that crease between your hip and your Thigh, your pelvis, breathe, or your thigh, breathe. One more breath in triangle. Inhale, come back, reverse the triangle. Rebend your front knee, adjust where you need to with the back leg. Now take the right hand this time on the inside of your foot block or rest on your thigh, left arm is back up again. Turn your torso forward. Take your left arm behind your back. Bind it wherever it goes. Strap or towel if you need it. And some of you, again, will take the full bind, right arm underneath, opening up your chest. Again, it be, be really you know out of your ego here. If your left shoulder comes forward and you bind, it's really not going to do anything. It's not worth the bind. So release the left arm, or release the bottom arm. I'm sorry, keep the left arm up. One more breath. While we're here, straighten your front leg. You might get a little bit more space in your torso. You might have a little bit more rotation. If you're bound, gently release it back to triangle pose. Your triangle today. Good, exhale, bend your knee, hands on the floor. Step back through vinyasa or skip it. Lower down halfway, lift your heart up downward facing dog and breathe. Bring your feet together. Lift your left leg in the air, open the hip up. Bend the knee and do whatever movements you'd like to take here. Just consider the left shoulder and right shoulder being in the same plane. So there's no real big rotation there. It's the hips that are open. Keep the knee bent as you turn it square. Bring your left knee to your left tricep. Open up your hip. Bring your left knee to the center of the mat. Step it all the way through. Spin your back foot on its side. Open up warrior two. Exhale, pump it once. Bring the arms and legs straight. And re-bend. Settle in for a few moments. Don't be in a rush. Good. Release your right hand, left arm up. 
straighten your front leg, stand upright, move your right hip in, look to the left, and then move your torso forward as you move your hips back. Reach out for triangle pose, left arm down, right arm up. Stack your shoulders, lift out of the hips, pull the knees up, stay strong. Breathe in, you know, I offer you lots of stuff. You can take more or less anytime. So of course the blocks are helpful. The vinyasas are your choice. The whole thing is your choice. You can sit on your mat and breathe. One more breath. Keep the legs straight as you reverse the triangle. And then exhale, rebend warrior two. Reach on the inside of your left leg. Of course, you could be on your thigh or a block, right arm up. So when I get into the pose, you know, then I figure out where I have to be with the rest of my body, right? Just getting there doesn't mean I'm in the right place. So I adjust, right arm behind the back. Some of you will stay with this. Some of you will take a full bind spiraling your heart up. It's almost as if you wanted to lay the whole left side of your body on your thigh. Nice, Pam. Breathe in, breathe out. Whew. Straighten your front leg. If you have any kind of bind, gently release back to triangle pose. It may be a little deeper than you were before. Exhale, spin to the front. Step back through your plank. Take your vinyasa your way. This is your practice. Right? I'm like a guide, a tour guide. I'll take you to places you want to go, and you can stay back when you don't want to go anymore. Or you can veer off on your own. Breathe in, breathe out. High up on your toes, bend your knees. Just look right under your nose as you bring your feet closer to the middle of your mat. Walk your hands back to your feet. Lift halfway up on the inhale. Exhale, fold over your legs. Let your head come down. Grab your hands behind your shins and grab fingers, wrists, forearms, elbows. Send the weight a little forward. And you just let your belly rest on the thighs and you take up your neck, lift and low. Release your arms, let it go. Roll through your spine, take your time. Stand up nice and tall, bring the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Bring your feet a little bit closer for standing up with the dasana right now. And then shift your weight to your left leg, lift your right leg up, knee bends. Open the knee, grab a hold of the foot, and place it inside for tree pose. So your tree, you know, if you take traditional tree, Rikshasana, nice ET, good guys. Yeah, you all got this one. This is, this is our beautiful tree. Then hug your left hip in towards the midline. And you can grow your tree anytime you want. Sorry, I'm not on camera here as I watch you all. So the important thing about your tree is that it stays rooted, first and foremost, and that you are um, standing up nice and tall. So open up your branches, breathe. And then just, you can use your hand if you need to, release the foot but hold the leg up. Cross ankle over knee, bend your knees, have a seat back a little further. Stay with this, or some of you will bring your hands to prayer in front of the foot on the floor. Some of you will take this into an arm balance by wrapping your right foot around your left tricep and shifting your weight forward into your hands. I know Michelle does it. I think Cindy does it. Very good, good, you see, you can do it. And breathe, drop your tush down. So you wanna keep your hips parallel. If you're flying, come on back down. Good. Inhale, see if you can bring your hands to your hips before you rise up. Come up to standing. Feet down on the floor. Release your arms, separate your feet. 
Bend your knees and fold over. Take your peace finger grip around your big toes. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Pull the fingers underneath the, or the thumb underneath the fingers, underneath the toes, look forward, exhale, elbows out to the side, head down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands to your hips, rise up to stand. Walk your feet a little closer, arms by your side. So the width of our feet is really, you know, determined by our balance. Sometimes wider is just going to be uh, a better place for us to be for sometimes, for some poses especially. All right, so wade into your right leg, lift your left leg up, flex the foot, bend the knee. Open it out to the side and take a hold of it, place it on the inner thigh, above or below the knee or on the floor. Hug your right hip in as you bring your hands to your heart center. Good. And you'll notice one side tends to be more open. Take the arms up and spread your branches. Hug your right hip in, nice and strong. You've got this equal connection of foot and inner thigh happening. Good, now release your foot and lift it in the air. Perhaps open it a little more, flex the foot. And then cross left ankle over right knee. Bend the knees or stay upright. And then you choose where you want the hands. Do you want them in prayer? Are you gonna take this all the way down to the floor and perhaps even go into, oops, the arm balance? I think it's Galvanasana. I never remember the name of this. Ekapada, one-legged, one-footed. And there, there's my earphone. Breathe. Good. All right, so if you're flying, take landing and then everybody bring your hands to your hips slowly come on up to standing separate your feet shake it out take a breath in fold over your legs fold in half lift the feet up and slide your hands all the way under as you wrap your big toe around your wrist on one side then the other look forward inhale and exhale head down elbows out Nice massage of your wrist. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to hips or heart, rise up to standing. Arms down by your side. Feet or hips width apart. Tuck your tailbone under. So just start again with the grounding from the bottom up. Strong legs, knees lift, tailbone tucks. Inhale, bring your hands to prayer. Step your left foot back two to three feet. Slight turn out in the left leg. Start with the hips squared. Good. Inhale, hinge forward. Pull the right hip back and the left hip forward. Now release your hands on either side of the foot or on the blocks. Lengthen your spine, inhale, fold yourself over, exhale. Keep thinking about right going back, left going forward, pressing deeply, firmly into the big toe of the right foot as well as the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Right hand inside, right foot or on the block. Left hand moves to your hip, lengthen your spine and then rotate to the left, so it's kind of like a short triangle. So having the block underneath your arms will give you a little bit more lift through the torso. Left arm comes up over your shoulder. So work it like a triangle for a moment. Pop it like a pack. Take your left arm behind your back. Hold on to the inner thigh or whatever you got. Take your right arm if you can bind, all the way under. And here we are in that bind again, only in a shorter stance. Now, look towards your right leg. If you're not bound, don't worry about it. Just keep the hand on the thigh. Look forward and step forward with your left leg. So now your arms, we did this earlier. Right knee is bent, but the right arm is underneath. Put the weight in the left leg and lift your right heel. 
for some of you, this may be where we go. And then for the rest of you, you may even come up to standing. And I know we have some uh, takers of extending the leg up into Bird of Paradise. And if that's not where you're going today, nice Michelle, nice and you got an ET, so I think your bind is, it's okay, it's good, it's all good. That's it, good Pam, just hang in there. Doesn't matter if you lift or not, we're working on the bind, the rest is just, you know, fun. And if your leg is up in the air, come back down to center. Release your hands out and fold over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Grand Donna stand. Bring the arms with you overhead as you inhale, arms come up. Exhale, prayer to your heart. Take a moment. Big toe, little toe, ball the foot, heel. Everything's strong, strong, strong. Step your right foot back two to three feet. Turn the right toes a little bit forward, a little bit more than we might in our pyramid pose. Good. Inhale. Fold over your leg, left leg. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward. So we want, remember way back we had this parallel spine in our squat? Same parallel spine here. Some of you might even go lower. And then take the left hand on the floor or the block. Right hand to the hip, and then we're, as we hug the hips in, we're going to spiral the torso to the right. And reach. So, you know, we start with the, the, the basic. Now the hand goes up, a little bit more intense. And for some of you, the hand's going to go back and bind. Right arm behind the back. So right arm is behind you. Into the inner thigh, if you can, of your left leg. And then for those of you who can take your left arm underneath your left leg and grab the right arm, open up into your twist. So it's like a bound triangle, but short. Stay with this. Or look down, look forward. Step your right foot forward. Bend your left knee. Hold on under the thigh and lift the heel up. And again, that could be it for you. Or maybe you want to lift to standing and that's it for you. And some of you, again, will extend that leg into Bird of Paradise. That's it. Keep hugging the standing leg upright. Very nice, guys. It's challenging. No doubt. So wherever you are, begin to make your way back down. When your foot takes the floor, release your bind and fold. Way a little side to side. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to your hips, heart come up to standing. Release your arms by your side, bring your feet in. Inhale, bring your arms all the way overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take yourself through vinyasa or skip. All the way down, all the way back up into downward facing dog. Three. Inhale, let's lift the right leg up. Open the hip one more time, bend the knee. Shift forward, right elbow, right knee. And this time, step your right foot outside your right hand. Toes turn to the right, lower the knee now. Stay upright or come to your forearms and you choose, do you want to roll out on the right leg and use that bind to get, or not that bind, but that press? This is all your choice. Good, lizard pose, any variations are always welcome. One more breath as you tuck your left toes under, lift the knee up off the floor. Stay on your forearms or come to a forearm plank. Hold your shoulders over your elbows, belly is lifted, knees are lifted, crown the head forward. Good, spin onto your right arm, turn to your left side, left arm up, you can bring the right knee down to the floor. Or if you'd like to step your left foot back and lift into a 
forearm dancers for it is very nice. Breathe. Come back to your plank, forearm plank. Lift, uh, lower your knees. Sit back on your heels for child's pose. You can keep it active for now. Inhale to downward facing dog. As you exhale, hips go in the air. Left leg in the air. Open your left leg, bend the knee. Bring the left knee to the left tricep. Open the hip. And step it on the outside of the left leg. Lower the right knee to the floor. Just make sure you go far back enough that you're not sitting on your kneecap. And then if you can make your way down to forearms, great. If you need a block there, that's fine. You can have your um, weight or you, you can roll off onto the pinky edge of your left foot and take your arm to open up the twist a little bit more. Keep lowering the hips with every breath. No rush, no force. If your forearms are down, keep them down. If they're not, we're gonna make our way back into a forearm plank, so step back. Shoulders over elbows, belly is lifted. Take your left arm, stay on the floor with it. Turn to your right side and either drop the knee to the floor, the bottom knee, or take your right leg behind you and open up into a dancer's bridge. Lift the bottom hip all the way up. And then exhale back to your forearm plank, wherever you are. This time, lift your hips in the air for dolphin. Walk your feet in closer towards your hand. So ideally, your shoulders are over your elbows again. Breathe. Head is off the floor. I like to push my weight into my forearms so I can kind of a lift out of my shoulders and my neck, right? So I just find that core action. One more breath as you lower your knees to the floor. Sit back on your heels or on a block. Lift your torso up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Inhale, open your eyes. Rise up onto your shins. Separate your knees, hips width apart. Take your hands to your hips. Fingers pointing up if possible. Elbows squeeze in, lift your heart up. So first I want you to stay pretty much upright with a little bit of as much of an arch as your back is gonna allow from the upper mid back, not from the lower back. Good. So lift up, lift up, lift up. And then just release your arms for a minute. Roll your shoulders back and around. If you have a block, take it on its highest height in between your two feet, kind of a little bit beyond the, sole, the ball of your foot. So I don't know if you can see where mine is. If I were, um, it would be better than here. So take your right arm up, follow it, and find the block on its highest height. Take the left arm up and follow it back. Take it on its highest height. And then push your hips forward. So I'd like to say it's a modified camel, but it's really kind of a knot. It's just a kind of a hybrid. So your heart is lifted. Your hips are pointing forward. Your chest and shoulders are open. We've done a lot of opening in the shoulders today. So you should have a nice open space. One more breath. Good. Stand up, take the block with you, turn it the long way, and sit on it. Bring your hands to your um, hips and just close your eyes for a moment. Inhale, rise back up on your shins. Now. You have three heights of the block. We just did the highest height. If your back is really open and you think you can reach down to a lower height, just go ahead and put it back there behind your feet. 
You can even take your feet and wrap your feet around the block a little bit. Bring your hands to your hips, lift your chest up. Let's start with the left arm. Inhale the left arm up, follow it around. Can it touch the block? Take the right arm up, follow it around. Can it touch the block? And then push your hips forward. So if it's the answer is no and you change the height, go back to a higher height, right? So no longer perhaps a modification, it might be an intensification of your camel pose. For some, because we're behind our feet, not on them. One more breath. Good, sit up, put the block the long way, and have a seat back on it. Take your dominant hand on top of your less dominant hand. Close your eyes. Just embrace your body, your connection, your breath. Inhale, your eyes open. Come forward, take the block out, tuck your toes underneath you, and find a downward facing dog. Stay in your dog, or if you're like me, take a vinyasa, take extra push-ups, take no push-ups, and we meet in down dog. Bring your right knee to the floor, turn the right foot to the left, bring your left knee behind your right, open it out to the right. Grab a block if you need to, to sit down behind your heels. So if your right knee goes really high, which, okay, you know, a lot of us have tight hips, then feel free to sit on the block to assist with that. And then just close your eyes and push your thumbs into your inner, thigh, uh, inner foot. Inhale your left arm up over your head. Exhale, take it outside your right thigh. Lift your torso, take your right arm, and place palms in prayer to your heart. Hips are pressing down, they may or may not touch. Inhale back to center. Release your arms by your side. Nothing fancy today. Lean back, shake it out. Come back to your hands and knees. Downward facing dog. You wanna take a vinyasa? Take a vinyasa, here you go, I know. I get it. Have there ever been one too many vinyasas? Oh my gosh, I so have. Left knee down to the floor in the middle of your mat. Turn the, right, the toes to the right. Right knee behind your left knee, toes to the left, and either sit on a block or sit down on the floor. Not on your heels. Close your eyes for a moment, drop your shoulders. Inhale, open your eyes, right arm up. Twist to the outside of your left thigh. Take your left arm and meet it in prayer. So while the twist is happening, we're grounding our hips. It's a lot of work. Finding the length in the spine before we twist bend. And then maintaining that length or perhaps finding more. One more breath. And then make your way back to center slowly. Release your hands. And then come forward. Release your legs. Step it back to a downward dog. Walk your dog. I'm just going to change my mat a little bit. Hopefully this is still okay for everybody. And then come on down to the floor. Stretch your legs out in front of you. 
Move yourself towards the front edge of your mat, not towards, the, about the third of the mat. Legs out in front. Can you guys at home see me? Just holler if you can. Lift up the flesh from underneath you. Hands by your side, lift your chest all, all the way up. And good, reach your arms out in front of you. Thumbs up, palms face each other like you're holding a block or perhaps you are. Legs are strong and active. So pull the knees up, pull the heels, uh, the toes back, press the heels down. Inhale tall, exhale, bring your chin to your chest and start to roll down one slowly vertebrae at a time. Take your time, take your time, take your time. When you make your way all the way down to the floor, hug your knees to your chest. Rock on your spine, side to side. Good, keep your knees nice and close together. Grab opposite elbows, flex your feet. And then open your arms, keeping your knees nice and close, move your hips to the right, and let your knees fall over to the left side, twist. You can straighten one or both legs out if you have the space. Not necessary, just it's a, something different. You bend your knees if they're straight. Come back to center. Shift your hips to the left. Let your knees fall to the right. Twist. Stay there or straighten the legs out. So when you do that, think about pulling your, le your hips to the left, but your feet to the right. Straight, rebend, come back to center. Adjust yourself, big round ball, hugging your legs into your chest. Lower your head. Extend one leg at a time to the floor. Stretch the arms up over your head. Cross the right ankle over the left. Grab the right wrist with the left and lean over towards your left side. Just Kind of make a little crescent shape. So lengthen the right side of your body. A little compression in the left side waistline. Inhale back to center and just switch the sides. Grab the left wrist with the right arm, left ankle over right, and just do a little crescent movement. Make your way back to center, release the arms and the legs, and take the arms down by your side, palms face up. Release the legs, hips open. Take a few breaths. Settle in, and if there's something you'd like to um, do that we have not done, feel free to bring that into your practice. Scan your body from head to toe, notice and then let go of all the tension that you perhaps are holding on to still. Let go. Use the mantra, let go. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. As you settle yourself into your final Shavasana. your body.
as always, I invite you to stay longer just by turning this off. Stay on your mat. Just embrace some stillness. Or if you need to come back out of it, begin to deepen your breath. Make small movements, fingers, wrists, forearms, elbows, ankles, toes, knees. When you're ready, hug your knees back to your chest. Take yourself onto either side. Make your way to a comfortable seat. Take your prayer to the heart. Honoring yourself for making your way to your mat this morning, as so many mornings we do. Thank you so much for being here, for you know, being part of our community, even so we're distant. So thank you for that. I am honored, grateful, bowing to each other, the life, peace, the love, and goodness within. Namaste, Satnam. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Have a wonderful rest of your day. It should be nice and open now. So go out and have fun. Stay home safe and stay healthy.